Hello, welcome to Integrity Live. You might have heard a little bit of music there. Today we're talking yeah. to the debutantes. Hello. Hello. It might be a bit of a delay because one of them's in Wales and one of them's in in London, so we'll see. But it's good to have you both on the show today. Lovely to uh, have us here. So thank you so much for inviting us. Right, as I mentioned before, you're called the debutantes. So please just tell some of the people who don't know who you are a little bit about yourself, what your names are, etc. Okay, so who wants to go first? Me or Lavinia? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. So okay. I'm Victoria, and obviously this one in the middle, that way, is Lavinia. Um, she's my slightly younger sister, and we're both from Cardiff in Wales. We're Welsh, and uh, we're the debutantes, which is basically a 60s-inspired girl band, and we have lots and lots of harmonies going on, and we're trying to basically bring back the funky, fresh, 60s, happy kind of brunettes, crystals vibe. Um, but making it kind of current and relevant to, you know, the younger generation of this day. So, yeah, fingers crossed it's going well so far. <laughs> and Lavinia, you're in London, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so I'm back in London now. Um, so um, I've been in London for about five years now studying uh, musical theatre and doing the debutantes as well with my sister, which has been really good fun. Um, I can't think of anyone better to be in a girl band with, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I am the video. Hello everyone. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we heard a little bit of music as we come in, and that's your new single called Heartache that was released recently, I believe. Please tell us a bit about your single. Okay. Either one of you. <laughs> so <laughs> Heartache, um, it's it was released on Saturday, so it's only been out. Well, this is the fifth day it's been out now. So the view count on YouTube is going up and we were really, really grateful for everyone's support and enthusiasm. They loved the video, which was great because we actually filmed it in lockdown because obviously we're not allowed to have our professional, our usual professional team with us. So we had to film everything ourselves, edit it ourselves. Um, and Heartache is basically about, well, we have this little kind of funny storyline behind it. So if anyone out there watches the video, you'll find out, but it is quite comical. So we both end up finding out that we've been going out with the same guy and he's been leading both of us on. <laughs> and yeah. he ends up ending it with us with the same letter. So he gives us both the same letter and we read it and obviously we're shocked. But then at the end, it all, it's all fine because we get over it. So it's kind of a funny background really to the story it's i think it's a great song for you know uh, girls and boys who are going through breakups and everything sometimes you listen to kind of um, heartache songs that make you cry and make you really tearful and everything um but i think this is a kind of uplifting song for those going through breakups so yeah um really enjoyed filming it as well i've had a lot of fun a lot of laughs. Yeah. Where did you film it? Especially with the ice cream, because there's one, I won't give too much away, but there's one scene where, you know, we've just read the letter and, oh, it's awful, you know, woe is us. So then obviously the tissues come out, the ice cream comes out, the comfort eating, and we're just there kind of scoffing the ice cream. And we, we keep getting the same question um, from the public. Did you manage to eat all the ice cream? <laughs> No, no, I, I didn't. Know. Otherwise, I would have been really sick. <laughs> well, the single is brilliant. It's a really great single because I love the sixties anyway, so it's good. And but the video is so funny as well. So anybody who hasn't seen it, log on to YouTube and watch it. It's really good and listen to it, of course. Thank you. Is, is there a, is there an album in the pipeline? Did I read or hear us? You got an album yeah, coming out? Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, that's good. Yep, yeah, yeah. so the album is out. I'm um, sorry, I was waiting for Lavinia to talk, but yeah, if it's fine. I, I couldn't quite hear the question then. It didn't quite come Oh, through. okay, yeah, the album, the album is out sometime next year. Um, obviously, because of this pandemic, our yeah. plans as a band have kind of altered a little bit. So we did have a plan A um, with the album and the release and the singles, blah, blah, blah. However, because of the pandemic, it's kind of, 
I think messed up everyone's plans a little bit, you know, everyone's lifestyles, everyone's release plans, you know, because obviously there are other bands out there that wanted to do the same thing. Um, so I think we've been kind of rethinking everything quite quickly and we really wanted to get another single out because obviously we can't go gigging in person anywhere. So we wanted to keep the ball rolling and keep everyone interested online because obviously everyone is online. So um, yeah, released Heartache, but there is an album coming out next year. It's called Symphonic Pop. So we can't wow. reveal too much. We recorded 14 songs. And they're, they're wow. all, they're all, they're, so they're all 60s kind of feel to it, but um, they're all quite different in their own way. To I mean, there's one song which we absolutely love. Um, which has more of a kind of Spanish vibe to it. And then there's another song, which is more um, kind of chill back that you listen to around a campfire sort of thing. So, um, nice. yeah. Excellent. Well, well, it's my friend John's birthday today. We're calling the captains. He looks like uh, Captain Picard. And he is from Cardiff, actually. He's a big mm -hmm. fan of the Cayman Corner single, If Paradise Is Half Was Nice. So. And you've recorded that and done an absolutely cracking version of it with Andy Ferrer below on it. How did that come about? <laughs> well, um, I don't know who wants to take this one, you or me, Vinya. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. So, um, yeah, so our manager, um, Alan Jones, um, he thought it would be a really great idea if we could cover um, If Paradise is Hard was Nice and we thought, yes, we would love to. Um, it's a great song. We listen to it as um, children. Our parents love it. Um, and then he says, "Okay, well, I'm thinking about bringing Andy Fellello onto the track with you." And we thought, "Wow, I mean, this is an honor, you know." Um, so yeah, we got to sing with him on the track. And, oh my gosh, I mean, he has so many, so many fans that would, you know, love to meet him in person, let alone sing on the track with him. Um, so, you know, it was amazing, amazing. And I said to him over and over again and think, wow, that's actually a real privilege to be able to sing with you. Wow. And I think, also, I think also the fact that he's from Wales as well, and so are we. Um, see Alan Jones is original band member of the Amen Corner. He was one of the saxophonists. And um, it, it is, as Lavinia just said, it is such an honour to be able to release our first song, which was actually the cover of Paradise um, with Andy. I mean, we were totally honored just to be able to have that song as a cover anyway, for Alan to trust us, mm. to be able to sing their song, um, let alone bring in Andy as well. So uh, I think the mixture of the music video, whoever's seen the music video, you know, it's got a mixture of modern and old and, you know, footage of us girls in a field looking very bohemian and then it, it kind of clips back to the black and white top of the pops footage with Andy and the band. So I think it works really well together. The filming of um, Paradise was actually, it was a really hot day. <laughs> um, I mean, we were running through the fields and, you know, lying down on the grass and these insects. <laughs> 27 and we were actually you know we were so hot under those clothes and at the end of the day when we finally got to go in the pool wow it was amazing best feeling ever <laughs> again if anybody's watching out there i hope you're watching out there you've got to look at the video as well it's a great video and it is a great cover version it really is good thank you thank you now i was lucky to meet you both Look at this picture here that I took of you two guys. Look at you. Wow, the Brit uh, party. Yeah, Riz La Vida organised that, wasn't it? And <laughs> I, I was upstairs doing a lot of photographs with Kirk and a few other people. But didn't you sing downstairs as well? Yes. So, um, for those of you out there who are watching right now and aren't sure what we're talking about, we were all at the Brits After Party Awards. Um, back in February this year, just before lockdown, actually. Yeah. So we were really lucky. <laughs> um, and we met Dear Robert, uh, the photographer at the Brit Awards After Party, and he took some lovely photographs of us. Um, and we sang there, we sang If Paradise is Half as Nice and My Precious Love, which literally um, was released about a week before the Brit Party. 
Uh, and it was kind of on different levels. There were, uh, the party was in a building made up of a few floors and different things going on on every floor. So it was very confusing and very busy. It was, it was, yeah. But well done for that, it's brilliant. Yeah. Are you, 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 you uh, was a single precious love? That's done well, hasn't it, for you? It's done That's really well. Um, it's done very well. We really enjoyed filming that particular music video it again it was really hot um to be honest we really love that particular single because it's very kind of silla black especially towards the beginning you know the big entry dun, 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 it's very silla you know and we love silla black we love silla. so to have the wet white look kind of 60s um white wet look sorry <laughs> white wet look 60s boots and the mini dresses, which were actually the one that I wore, the pink one with the flowers on, was actually my our mother's dress, genuine from the 60s. Uh, and she kind of influenced us with the way we wanted to look. So she kind of introduced the whole, oh, well, you should have these dresses and, you know, the whole, like the hair down for some of our photo shoots in the music video, they're up in a beehive. But in the photographs that maybe some of you guys have seen, we actually have our hair down with a flower wreath and white lips, which was influenced a lot by our mother. So she's influenced us a lot with this band, with the way we look at things. Well, that brings me on to a, a question about music, etc. I was brought up in a household listening to country music and the 60s from my parents. What was it like in your household growing up with, um, or your household, because you together then, uh, with music? What was your influences and what are your influences now from that time? You mentioned um, Sarah Black. Yes, so um, both of our parents are uh, both musicians. Uh, our dad is in the BBC National Orchestra of Wales, so we used to go to a lot of um, concerts at the St David's Hall and things and listen to classical music that he played. Uh, my, our mum is also a musician as well. Um, and she used to bring us up um, putting, you know, the, rec the old record on. Um, we all used to get so excited old 60s records on and um, we used to listen to a lot of the Bee Gees um, oh. so we used to love songs um, Massachusetts um, words uh, I started a joke is my particular favorite one and I think it is yours as well yeah. <laughs> and I've got to get a message to you as well um, I, I've always loved the monkeys I think they're really fun and vibrant um, so like Daydream Believer I actually remember um, our other sister playing that tune on the clarinet over and over again. And since then, I've loved it. Um, and I'm a believer at uh, Springfield, um, kind of a preacher man, I only want to do that um, I Personally, I remember being given a 60 CD. It had a, a massive sunflower on the front. I'm not sure where it is now. Um, <laughs> I remember that one, Lavinia. I remember. Yeah, one of my favourite songs on there was "Lazy Sunday" by Small Faces, and I remember um, trying to tap dance to it. It has that kind of uh, tap dancing sound in the background. Um, so yeah, that's something I always remember. Um, I mean, I listen. I listen to a lot um, of sixties, and I also listen to a lot of other um, music as well, like um, Ed Sheeran, Lady Gaga's. Yeah. Joanne, um, I listen to Jay, Green Day, you know, I have other kind of music as well. Um, but yeah, mm. so this is a it's good job of choice. Yeah. choice. Yeah. It's a good job of varied choice, it really is. Yeah. Well, it's influenced your music, which is good. So, and the 60s is always good music to listen to. So it's always Yeah, I think, I think it's, even though, you know, it's in the 60s and we've moved on and blah, blah, blah. I think it's something, it's clear 60s mu music to us is quite classic. So it will never grow old. And there's not like a lot of kind of, especially during this time is so negative with the pandemic and everything else crazy that's going on in the world. There's not a lot of kind of positive music out there that's just making everyone kind of fun, feeling fun and happy and um carefree so this is what we're trying to do we're trying to kind of cheer everyone up with the the, the music videos the fashion um the fact that 60s is cool it can be cool in this day and age for the younger generation because i think 
especially children and young teenagers growing up, you know, they, they've got their rap, they've got their hip hop, they've got their pop. But then when it comes to 60s, because they're so young, I don't think they would even be interested in listening to the, you know, things like the Ronettes, the Crystal, you know, Be My Baby, um, other things, it, it, Dusty Springfield, Sandy Shaw, they don't know who they are. So for us to bring yeah. this sort of music back, but try and make it relatable, you know, with the fashion and staying fun and having a bit of a laugh in the music video, I think is really important for for people these days. I think it's such a happy really vibe of music, you know? Yeah. It is. Well, I'm going to ask a question to Victoria now, and then I'm going to ask to Lavinia. The quick Victoria now is something to remember it. Um, what do you think about lockdown? Because Wales is slightly different to London and some parts of England, isn't it? How are you finding yeah. lockdown, Victoria? To be honest, um, London, yeah, well, right now, I think, to be honest, well, since we last spoke, uh, the regulations, the government regulations in Wales, I think, are changing slightly. They're slackening, which is great because now we can travel a little bit more. Um, a couple of days ago and a few weeks ago, it was quite strict where we weren't allowed out of Wales, so we wouldn't be allowed to drive over the bridge <laughs> um, and just things like that. But now it's sort of slackening, which is great. Uh, but lockdown for me has been okay. Um, yeah, I think it can be tough for everyone at times, even the strongest mentally, because I'm a very stable, strong person, you know, up here. But yeah. at the same time, it can still, you can have your good days in lockdown, you can have your bad days. And I think just doing little things that make you happy, like painting a picture or doing some gardening is really therapeutic. Um, but lockdown, <laughs> I actually find for me personally, it's been a lot busier than prior to lockdown. So, because obviously everything's online and I've got to be on the laptop on my phone constantly. Um, I run a performing arts school for children, the Victoria George Beale School of Performing Arts. And um, yeah, so obviously I can't teach in person right now. So I've transferred everything onto Zoom. So that's been a challenge. <laughs> um, you have a class of 20 children all on Zoom at the same time and, you know, choreography and things. And then I also started up a new online business, which is a beauty pageant open to all women across the globe. Um, it's called Miss Regal World, and um, it's got over 100 contestants from America, UK, Canada, South Africa, Vietnam, Germany, Australia even. And it's just created to kind of keep everyone's spirits up and to, for everyone to feel like there's a sense of unity. You know, if anyone doesn't have uh, a friend to talk to, then if they want to enter this, then we have a private testing group where they can start to talk to each other and make friends from around the globe. So it really does spread happiness, I think. And uh, shout out to all the Regal World contestants. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Lavinia, what about yourself in lockdown? How have you found it? living in London? So it's been a bit different to Victoria. Um, so I actually um, just finished um, five years of study in musical theatre. So I've actually had to graduate um, during lockdown. And um, so I went to Italia Conti first for one year and then um, London College of Music for four years. And during our final um, show rehearsals, um, our university was completely shut down. Um, so we've had to do kind of assessments in different ways. Um, so it's been quite challenging finishing a degree which is so practical. Um, yeah. You know, to film practical assessments in one small flat without any room. Um, so yeah, um, so I've literally just been finishing that degree. We get our results next month, I believe. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, thank you. And I just found it, I found lockdown more of a way to do things that I don't actually have the time for when we're not in lockdown, you know. So I've been um, doing some more art work. Um, I've been starting. She's really good at art. She's really good. Thank you. <laughs> I like drawing animals. So if anyone has any suggestions, um, you know, give me a message of something to draw. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I've just been finding um, ways to kind of write music, um, record songs with my friends, you know. Um, and I mean, theatre has, I don't know what's happening with theatres at the moment. Um, it's yeah. all a bit up in the air with everything. So, um, I mean, it's a great community, this music industry. Um, and we're all together. Um, so I believe that we'll support each other and, you know, the support that make so far has been amazing for everyone. Um, so yeah. I feel really happy that we're in this industry. Absolutely. I was talking to my friend Del from Stray uh, the other day about this and about because he performs concerts all year round, etc. And he's not sure how it's all going to happen when you get back. And the same as yourself, you want to go on stage and sing live to people. How are people going to be in the audience? Because you don't want to stand two meters away from your friend because you want to you get into the music, don't you? And you, you're going to excite it with your, your friend be excited. It's going, to be, it's going to be really hard I think to be honest we're not sure what's going to happen um we it's a shame because we at before the lockdown we actually had a few gigs lined up <laughs> and of course the band is still fresh and new um we only released mm. our first baby single November last year and then my precious love on Valentine's Day this year so really we, we haven't even been one year old yet the Debbie Ponce. we're not even a year old so um yeah we had lots of gigs lined up we we, we were going to go to abergavenny festival summer festival actually we were meant to sing on saturday which is the day of the release of party uh but obviously oh. that's postponed but we've got some exciting news i don't know if it's going to happen though so we're going to have to keep our fingers and toes crossed for this one do you want to tell them Lavinia, okay. or shall i you know okay here we go so we've been invited as the debutantes to perform as artists in the madeira fashion week later this year wow so yeah so we're really excited about that but obviously we just don't know if we're going to be able to go <laughs> so um yeah i mean it's attended by cristiano ronaldo's family because the sister of cristiano is a designer and she she models some of the, the clothes and things out there so it would be a great opportunity and great exposure for us the debutants um but we'll have to see how it goes we'll have to see how it goes i just we just hope and pray that we'll be able to fly to madeira absolutely yeah oh it's good news and again fingers crossed for both of you for that thank you i know you said you've only been in business doing this for just what a year or so but if somebody else come up to you now and said look i want to be a singer etc what would you give them what advice would you give them Oh, ben, do you want to start this one? Oh, yeah. Um, personally, um, I would say, you know, keep, you know, keep writing your own music. And if, if some, even if someone else writes some music for you, um, you know, just keep practicing. I know I have days when I think, um, oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm too tired for this today. And sometimes lockdown does that to you a lot. Um, but, you know, just keep going, keep practicing. It's amazing how much you get tired without practicing. So keep going, um, and you know, keep keep promoting yourself. Promotion is a big way our days. Yeah. You know, um, social media has a lot of influence uh, on music artists. Um, so, you know, once you crack the code to try and figure out how to promote yourself that way, um, there there will be a lot going for you. Um, and I just you know, um, promote yourself, um, talk to other artists, see if they want to, you know, sing with you. Um, so yeah, just keep keep in the positive mindset and keep going at it. That's my I think I'd like, you know, that's really good. I'd like to add to that. I think um, definitely Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, they are key. So even if you start off with two followers on Instagram and one subscriber on YouTube, you have to, everyone has to start somewhere and don't be disheartened by how slow it can be because it can be really slow. You know, the followers on Instagram, sometimes it takes a while um, to even get to just 600 followers. And then YouTube as well, you really have to spread the word fast. You have to contact so many people, people that you know, people that you don't know. And unfortunately in this day and age sometimes it is you know the connections you have so if you remember someone that used to publish a magazine five years ago that you want to now get in touch with because you want to tell them about the song 
then you have to go to that person and message them otherwise they won't remember that you exist <laughs> so um and i think one of the main things is you have to know what genre you fall into yeah. because there are so many artists out there bands soloists choirs duets trios and it's just there is so much and you could just easily blend into the background so you have to know what genre you fall into who you are as an artist what you're trying to portray and what vibe you are what style you are because yes you can see you can have the most amazing voice but you might not be very successful i mean i know a lot of very good singers and actors out there that unfortunately haven't become well known and that's not because they're not talented it's just because maybe they just haven't known which avenue they fall and they you know they're going through or uh they just haven't met the right person at the right time unfortunately it's all about that as well uh so you just have to keep spreading the word and letting people know that you actually exist so for us it's the 60s vibe which we love so we're very yeah. lucky to to be going down that route i think it's a massive you know, the opportunity that you can get really you know yeah within reason, <laughs> within reason. <laughs> yeah. well as you know <laughs> grab it with both hands yes well, as you know, we're called Integrity. So my last question to you two, Lavinia first, so we get it straight. Okay. What does Integrity mean to you? Um, so I think, I mean, Integrity is, a, I think, is a really important quality to have um, as a human being. I mean, it allows, it allows you to trust someone and be honest with them. Um, and it also allows you to turn to someone for truthful advice. Um, and I think it's about being a nice human being with, you know, fair words, fair actions. Um, and I, I think it also enhances other values along with it as well. Um, I, I just think it's the core to a successful and happy relationship with people. Um, personally, I like to have integrity because um, I like to stay true to myself. I like to have morals. Um, I think it's so easy nowadays to become influenced by others and um, be influenced by the environment we live in. Um, and I think staying true to myself and how morals keeps me grounded in this world and keeps me myself. Um, and I think I think it's good to have your own opinions. And I think, you know, everyone's yeah. touched their own opinion. Um, and I think, you know, everyone should just respect each other with their own opinions. So, yeah. Absolutely. To be honest, Sorry. to be honest, guys, that is exactly, obviously we're sisters and we think the same. <laughs> so that is exactly, I couldn't have said it better myself. So I don't think I can change anything or say anything fresh or new. Integrity to me is literally exactly the same as what Lavinia just said. You have to stay true to yourself. You have to be humble and respected and just have respect for others. Treat others the way you want them to treat you. Um, so... <sighs> especially in this industry that we're in, you know, the performing arts industry, it's so crucial to have integrity and to yeah. stay real. Uh, you have to stay true to yourself. You have to stay genuine. It's so easy to start kind of getting your head up in the clouds and, you know, embellishing things or whatever, but you have to put your feet firmly on the ground and just, just enjoy yourself, but stay, stay real stay genuine stay happy and i think yeah to be honest respect and integrity and truthfulness to other people and to yourself is probably the three main qualities to have as an artist excellent well listen thank you for giving us your time today so no, it's although you, you know we're in lockdown it's, it's a busy time for everybody doing different things so again so what's your new single called tell everybody before we go heartache brilliant listen thank you once again for being our guest today good luck with the single good luck with it, and i hope to see you both soon thank you thank very okay. much take care bye-bye have a lovely day bye, bye. bye.